There's the castle. Yes, replied Sir Top of Matt. And now we shall visit the mine. When Toby arrived, he was deeply perturbed by what he saw. He was glad when it was time to go home. I think the castle in the mine will make a fine place for visitors, but it will take some hard work first. Y y yes, yes, sir said Toby nervously. Um, sir? Yes, Joby? When we were at the mine, sir, there were a lot of scrap engines, sir. Did you notice that some of them looked like Thomas, sir? No, Joby, said Sir Topham Hatt quickly. You're one of my most sensible engines. Whatever gave you that idea? You must be tired. Get some sleep at once. Next day, Toby and Thomas were asked to take a long supply train to the old mine. Like me? There must be woodworms in your frames, Toby. There's no way that's true. It is! There were several of them, and they all looked exactly like you. I swear by it! Well, we're almost there. Let's see just how true your story is. That's impossible! I saw them! Really? Maybe it was a ghost, chuckled Thomas. Scrap can't just up and leave, said his driver. Perhaps someone came by in the night and took them away. But why? asked Toby. Those engines were here for years. Why wait until now? And in the middle of the night, too? I don't know, said the fireman. But something tells me you'll try to find out. That night, Toby creeped into the smelter's yard. Where else would you take a scrap engine? He puffed to himself. Well, there's your answer, said the fireman. Can we go home, please? I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. But why are there so many of them? asked Toby. And why of Thomas? I'm going after them. And you can't stop me. Stop you two! he called. Oh! Whoa! Looks like we've been found out, sir, said one of the diesels. But what shall we do with him? You're not doing anything to me, replied Toby firmly. I'm one of Sir Topham Hatt's engines. Dear, oh dear, came a voice. Seems you couldn't keep your buffers out of this, could you, Toby? Out of what, sir? Follow me. <coughs> you see, Toby, began to top Matt. It all started when Thomas fell down into that mine. We sent Gordon to save him, but he fell into it as well. It was impossible to get them out, so we... Well... Saved face and had them attached to new engines we built here. Couldn't have such a cover up happening at the works now, could we? <laughs> it worked so sure well with those two that we've done the same for many of our other engines, and no one's ever been any the wiser. I don't understand, shivered Toby. Why are there so many? And what about the, the, the Thomases at the, at the old mine? 
<laughs> we both know how <laughs> accident prone Thomas can be. He's had so many accidents that we had to put his old bodies elsewhere to stop the smelters from overflowing. Luckily, we managed to fix him up this time, though. It's been a while since he's had any troubles. <laughs> fix him up? Ah, yes. We always see to it that no one ever remembers everything from before the operation. But it's not an exact science. So they never quite come back the same way. Sometimes we get lucky, like with our current Thomas. But with others, like Gordon and Percy, we've never been able to return them back to the way they used to be. The engineering just isn't quite there, I'm afraid. But as long as they get their work done, I suppose I can't complain. Now you see, Toby, continued Sir Topham Hatt, I've managed to keep this a secret for many years. Only one other engine found out besides you. A visiting engine, in fact. It's funny, chuckled Sir Topham Hatt. Of all my engines, I never thought I'd have to operate on you. Help! Help! He cried, but his crew didn't answer. Next day, Toby returned back to work at the mine. I'm sure this place is haunted, muttered Toby. It's your turn to stay here or go tonight, Toby, said his driver cheerfully, remembering Sir Topham Hatt's instruction to keep a close eye on the steam tram. Oh, y yes, <laughs> why not, stuttered Toby. That's odd, thought Thomas. Toby's not usually the sort of engine to be so scared of a little old mine. But as a cheeky trick came to mind, Thomas forgot all about his concerns, forever doomed to be none the wiser to the truth. Fuck! I'm the fucking evil, what a...